Hi guys, it's me, Tonic TonicTZW, and I'm here with um, Dan and Dave. Dave's in the Hermes, Dan is in the Iron Duke, I'm in the Omaha, and it's on my free-to-play account. So I've only got a level 7 commander on the Omaha. Let that be a warning to you. But I was having some fun with this free-to-play account over Christmas, just trying to level a few things up. And this turned into um, a pretty huge game for us as a division and um, it was yet another Kraken um, do I add the tally together um, because I'm on to four Krakens in 160 games um, on the free to play account but I think I'm on 157 or 158 on the standard account so we're certainly racking them in we finished the new year with um, a huge Kraken in the Arkansas again he's got a level 11 sims on it and then we started the new year um, with another Kraken in the Arkansas so a good way to end the year and a good way to start the year but we're getting straight into the fight here and as I said I haven't got good commanders at the moment so I don't have the range that I'd like to have with the Omaha but we're going to do what we can Dave is in the carrier obviously doing all the spotting for us he isn't going to finish the game with you know a high base XP score but he was working for the division as we pick up first blood and get rid of one of the destroyers now looking across at the other side of the map they seem to have a hard fight on their hands across there but you know we have got the lead and we're going to start building on that lead V170 staying skinny coming towards me there's only one thing he's doing and that's putting um, those forward fire and torpedoes out but he goes out to Dan with a full send and that is game over for him so we open on the advantage but red team are pulling back they are on sea cap as i take a trip to the beach and become an island boy that could potentially have been fatal if the battleship had shells ready but it looks like he's firing he at everyone this oleg a is a pain in the backside he just seems impossible to hit we've got fires on him he's wiggling around our destroyer for whatever reason is like charging in there guns blazing and it's like no mate get on the cap stay undetected take the cap let us kill the Oleg yo cruiser and battleship take care of the cruiser and I'm uh, very wary of what's going on with that battleship that's out in front of me but there's another fire on the Oleg we're going to keep wailing the fire on there as he disappears from view and that is kill number two Iron Duke there next victim we're going to put the pressure on him as well but it looks like red team have absolutely stomped all over the three guys that were um, out there on the left side of the minimap and now they're all heading in this direction which means we need to take care of this iron duke and push towards a now our destroyer with all its speed and everything like that it would have been brilliant if he'd have hung a left turn now and started running towards the cap but i think he had one thought in his mind which is i want damage and i want kills which didn't exactly do a lot to help the team low health wyoming there i decide to make the turn as the um, iron duke is out of the game because we're going to need this destroyer to come in and get onto this cap so that we can sort of maintain the advantage it's a very slim advantage of three points at the moment but we're going to do what we can to keep this cap reset i don't really want to get in the way of two battleships in the omaha but if i can keep them reset then we can uh, stop them from taking this cap let's see what that Wyoming's doing I don't want to be broadside to either of these guys but the thing is we can't exactly sit here because there is a carrier still in the game and that carrier coming in is going to keep the pressure on us we can take its planes down but I'm just unsure of what to do here and I decide that distance is probably my safety net here the Wyoming seems to be steaming straight in and I'm hoping that those torpedoes are going to hit but they don't so now we're going to get back on the HEs and go for some fires. 
our destroyer um, is literally got a death wish for whatever reason we take out the Wyoming that is kill number three we straight on salvo was onto the Peter Veliki don't know what that DD was doing but he's got himself spotted he's got two battleships focusing him down um, he would have been much better on this cap at a much earlier stage instead of chasing ships around the map but hey we can't always make the right decisions at the right time can we and I'm going to make the decision now to try and support Dan in the Iron Duke with getting rid of this Omaha because this Omaha will burn him down as you've seen us do we pick up a confederate that's not too shabby 20% damage on at least six ships that is kill number four and then we get the carrier spotted so I call Dan and say okay can you tank um, those battleships in a cap in the center of the map um, we lost the destroyer and we lost our Wyoming that were on a cap um, I think that was a complete throwaway and we still have that slim advantage on points and I'm thinking if I can kill the carrier then we can maintain that advantage if we can keep a cap reset at the same time there is the Langley he's on fire that's automatically damage controlled we pick up a high caliber just as we break through 90,000 hit points we run four kills and it's at this point I was like hang on guys I'm on for a Kraken here so a Kraken is going to be what we go for <laughs> just check my torpedo range there because um, I couldn't remember what it was on the Omaha but we're going to keep pounding onto this guy red team two ships on air cap they turned that very quickly they have pulled the points advantage to themselves I need to get rid of this Omaha Dan has made the decision that he's going in against those two ships and I'm thinking is it the right thing to do is it the wrong thing to do again decisions made decisions committed to and as I swing around I realize Dan has absolutely no health on him and although we've just pulled the game back in our favor Dan goes out and that throws it back to red team They've got a half health Peter Veliki. They've got nearly a full health Nevada. We've got me in the Omaha. The Peter Veliki is burning and the clock is ticking down and we're just trying to get as much fire on as we can because if we can kill this guy, then the game is going to be ours. But as the clock ticks down, the fires are ticking on the Peter Veliki. We've got shots in the air. But on this one, unfortunately, the clock is going to beat us and we are going to end on a defeat. 127,000 damage, high caliber Confederate First Blood and the Kraken. And that was so, so disappointing. Just one more hit on that Peter Veliki would have thrown the game back to us. But there you go, look two players on each team and uh, two players with seven kills between them so i think we know who played the game on that one but um, thank you very much to dave for, for all the support in the hermes as well he did an absolutely brilliant job and it's just a shame we couldn't pick up that one last kill to give us the win so i hope you have enjoyed this one as always smash that like button leave me a comment tell your friends to get across the channel and subscribe we want to try and hit 1500 subscribers by the summer happy new year to you all and as always until next time take care of yourselves and goodbye